One growing area of podiatric practice is within forensics, and one aspect of this is via gait analysis. This is the identification of a person or persons by their style or manner of walking, and it is these features that can be identified. Commonly, the images are found on CCTV footage from the scene. Forensic gait analysis was first used in 2000 by a UK podiatrist, Hayden Kelly, when for the first time, this form of identification evidence was admissible in a criminal court. This case was heard at the Old Bailey in London and was widely reported in the media. Even though the perpetrator wore two pairs of trousers, a mask and gloves, he could not disguise the way he walked. This and many other cases since have helped raise the profile of what a forensic podiatrist can bring to the legal process. Additional skills and knowledge around report writing, courtroom skills, cross-examination and legal procedure is vital and is all part of training in this area of podiatry. Occasionally, bare footprints can be found at the scene of a crime and may hold clues about the person who left them, which in turn could help the police with their inquiries. An example is a case of murdered university student Meredith Kircher, in which a bloody footprint was discovered on the bath mat in her home. Footprints left at a crime scene can be used as evidence to link or eliminate someone from the incident using comparison methods. Often in these cases, the footprints don't show any detailed ridge patterns and the evidence will be passed on to the forensic podiatrist. The forensic podiatrist will analyse the evidence, compare and evaluate the information using a mixture of their podiatric and forensic experience. When undertaking forensic footwear analysis, it requires comparison of the shoe in question and a reference shoe. In their work with footwear, forensic podiatrists consider the outsole wear, the foot impression on the insole or sock liner, features of wear and distortions of the shoe upper, as well as the crease line position and matters relating to the fit of the shoe. The approach to this work would initially involve confirming the size of the footwear being examined. The shoe would be photographed, then transferred to computer for analysis. Through this process, a conclusion would be reached as to the likelihood of the shoes having been worn by the same person or not. As part of the College of Podiatry, the Special Advisory Group in Forensics is there to support those practicing in this important part of the profession.